Hello guys, Future GM Chess here, and today we are going to be doing How Pawns Move Part 2. Well, you may be asking, well, Future GM Chess, why didn't you do How Pawns Move Part 2 when you were doing How Pawns Move Part 1? Well, I apologize, I just realized I forgot something about How Pawns Move. I know pawns are very tricky pieces. Um, today we're going to be learning about pawn promotion, and this is when a pawn reaches the end of the board so for white that would be this and for black it would be this so when a pawn reaches here it can't really move off the edge of the board right so it can't do anything so what the pawn must do is it must change into either a bishop a knight a rook or a queen i know it just transforms chess is weird um so we have a pawn right here and say you move it right here and you can promote it into anything say a queen and for black that would look like this so if there's a pawn over here black just pushes it and gets anything so say a rook in this case um so now we'll just be having a very brief quiz since we only learned about one topic um there is a white pawn over here can it promote the answer is no, because in how pawns move, we learned that a pawn, which is already moved from its starting square, can't move two squares. So it can only move once, and then it would need another turn. So it can't promote right now. Black is a pawn here. Can black promote? The answer is yes. He can just move it one square forward and promote and do anything. Um, so that's the video. I hope you learned something and enjoyed. Please subscribe to Future GM Chess and like the video if you did. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.